Hey guys, today I am super excited to bring the G4 doorbell to you. On the left here, you can see some of the requirements needed for this doorbell, but I am super excited to install this. One of the neatest things about this is that it is a local security environment, no cloud subscription needed. So let's get started on the install. Let's get into the unboxing of the G4 doorbell. First off, the G4 doorbell. At the top we have the camera, in the middle we have the doorbell, at the very bottom we have the LCD screen and a light at the very bottom. On the back are the connectors and the reset for the doorbell. It would have been really sweet if it was a PoE. Uh, the Pro that just came out, uh, it can be powered over C. So the next item here is if you have a mechanical or digital doorbell. We will be installing this later. I will show you. And then some connectors for the doorbell. You don't have to use these, but we will be using them in this install. On this far right is a 20 degree plate that we will be using due to my brick home and this metal plate for the doorbell that is also needed. Let's get started. This is my old transformer that cannot support the G4 doorbell. So we're gonna shut off the power and install my new transformer. This is the device I spoke of earlier. If you have a mechanical or digital doorbell, if you do not install this product, you will get a buzzing and ringing coming from your doorbell due to the G4 constantly drawing power. This is a time lapse of the install. You can skip this to get to the Unify Protect. One thing to note during this install is that when wiring your doorbell, it does not matter which wire goes where attached to the doorbell because it's a smart doorbell. If you ever need to remove the camera, there is a button on the bottom to eject the camera. After installing everything, turn the power back on, head back out to your doorbell, and it should be starting up. This is the exciting part to do the software install. Once it's ready to be set up, go ahead and Head on over to your phone, open up the Protect app, and you should find that G4 doorbell. Go ahead and adopt it into your network. As you can see, I'm keeping an eye on you, so don't do anything sketchy. As it's adopting, most likely after it's finished, you will get a firmware update. Lastly, we're gonna head over to the web interface for Unify Protect. There is one major change you'll need to make here, but other than that, I am pretty much just showing you here some of the settings for your doorbell. Uh, in here, you can change the smart AI to detect people, cars, movement, and the fields of where it should monitor for those detections. You can also adjust your camera's settings on the visual quality. I've pretty much currently left it as default. I would say the only downside I've found with the camera is if it rains and some droplets get on the camera, it can get a little foggy, but outside of that, I've been really happy with this. Uh, actually, let's head down to the LCD screen. Here you can make some small adjustments in the sense of if someone were to come up, they can see a welcoming sign. Um, I chose no soliciting because I don't want people coming up ring my doorbell and selling me something, you know? But the major change that you'll need to make is the chime section. If you have a mechanical or digital, adjust this right after the install. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe and like button and you guys stay fresh out there.